Hello everyone. Uh, as I said that I'll be coming up with more testimonies soon. So uh, I have something uh, more that God has done in my life. As I recall all the events, I'm just uh, putting it down so that people will be blessed by these testimonies. So what happened is, uh, once there was a brother of mine, I mean a friend of mine, who was in need of some money and uh, he, he requested me to, uh, he wanted to borrow some money and uh, actually the thing i'll be a little truthful here the thing what happened is uh, at that time i had very little money in my account and i don't want to display figures uh, but uh, yes this is true that i had very little money in my account and uh, i told him just give me two minutes and i thought to myself that uh, if i give him this money i will have almost nothing uh, I can tell you all that only two digits would remain in my account. So uh, I felt the Holy Spirit tell me give. So I said okay fine. So I didn't tell that person uh, you know that uh, about what my situation was but I, I just went to an ATM. I saw the uh, balance uh, of the account in my account and I just put my hands on that uh, screen where you get the balance and I just prayed over it I said God Almighty anyways this is your money you use it for your kingdom I'm here today to help this person and I know that you are prompting me to help him and by doing this I'm only going to show your love to him so I removed that money that much amount how much he asked and I gave it to him and this person he said thank you and he moved and I moved on towards my house uh, and as I was approaching my home uh, I think it was a distance of half an hour or something I guess and uh, within half an hour's time I get a call from a producer whom I had worked with and because of some issues he was not able to pay me the money at that time and I had considered that money as bad debts that I would never receive it back and surprisingly I get a call from him and I'm wondering maybe this uh, producer has some work from uh, you know he wants some work uh, from me that's why he's called me I had no clue what was about to happen and he said uh, Himanshu I said yes sir how are you uh, tell me so he said uh, can you meet me at so and so place right now I said right now and it was around I think 10 30 or 11 o'clock in the night I said okay sir I'll come no problem so I quickly went and I reached there in 10 minutes and he was sitting in his car and he called me he said uh, come sit and I sat there and I thought maybe he'll ask me for some work uh, like you know would you uh, choreograph for my next film or something like that so uh, and by the way uh, I will just get, get uh, tell you a little history about this producer when there was time for to pay me that amount uh, which it was due for me uh, this producer told me that uh, you know Himanshu I am uh, in in a uh, little trouble right now I don't have cash I don't have money and uh, it would be a little delayed and he had already been delaying I think for six months or eight months I guess at that time and I actually didn't believe because uh, you know I have had uh, some bad experiences when uh, money matters come so he told me you know please have patience with me and at that time I had lost my patience so I was a little agitated and irritated and I didn't uh, want to agree with what he was saying so I said no sir I don't uh, want to hear anything please release my payment because I need it and it's been really long that you haven't paid me so please uh, uh, I would request you that don't do this you please give me my money and as I was talking to him about this I could actually hear you know in my thoughts someone speaking to in speaking to me in my thoughts saying Himanshu stop you will get your money and another thought came which said is that person going to give you your money or am I going to give you your money and it was the Holy Spirit speaking to me in my thoughts simultaneously when I was talking to him on the phone on the other year I was talking to him and from here I can hear the Holy Spirit talking to me telling me that he is not the one who's going to give you the money I am going to give you the money so why are you worried 
why are you pestering him he's he's being truthful he does not have the money have patience with him and when i heard that i understood that it is god who's talking to me and i told him okay sir no problem uh, whenever you have you can give it to me and i had actually considered it as a bad debt because after that a long time passed and he never called back he never replied you know so i had thought it's gone that money is gone and i said god you told me not to ask i'm not asking from him so it's done the matter is closed and the same producer calls me exactly at that day once i have released some amount to a needy person and this person calls me within half an hour's time i mean you know whatever you do for god whatever you do with love for the kingdom of god it will never go unseen by god people might not notice but god will never the bible says that even the very hair of hairs of your ha- head are being numbered if 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 two or three uh, strands of hair i lose today it's going to be accounted in heaven that you know himanshu has now these many uh, you know a bunch of hair remaining on his head so god keeps an account of even even of your hair then why wouldn't he keep an account of what you've done for him for his children for for the needy and for the you know uh, the the people who are poor and the people who actually need real help at times when times are tough so this producer tells me sit in my car and i sit and i'm wondering now what is go- what he's going to tell me and he uh, removes you know a packet and he gives me and he says himanshu this is your balance amount your uh, check which i was supposed to pay you and uh, keep it and at that time i did not believe this because it was a bad debt for me and i looked at him and i said sir thank you so much for this um, and i'm really grateful to god for what he's done right now and he said never mind i have money now that's why i called you and i gave it to you and thank you for having patience with me i said thank you sir thanks a lot and i left and i was amazed at how the kingdom of god works when you sow a seed without expecting anything from it god multiplies and do you want to know how much it was it was multiplied by 10 that amount which i gave to that that needy person god gave me 10 times more within 30 minutes so this is the power of the kingdom of god when you sow rightfully into someone's life it may not be money it may be a word of encouragement you might be sowing encouragement to someone you might be sowing a, a a seed of prayer in someone's life you might be sowing help in someone's life you might be sowing just one call and asking and 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 asking how are you is everything okay do you need something can i help you in any ways at this time when the whole world is in quarantine is there anything that i can do for you and i'm telling you i can give you this in writing whatever you do with love for the kingdom of god it will come back to you more than 50 times because this is a god who you know uh, he has a principle of sowing and reaping even the earth has this principle whatever you sow you will reap jaisi karni waisi bharni you know people say this is karma whatever you do it comes back to you so if you believe in this let me make a prayer for you right now people who are in need right now of financial breakthrough let's pray together and let's sow a seed of prayer together in this that god might give you a harvest that is bountiful more than that you have ever imagined god will open those doors from heaven and the windows of heaven and he will shower his blessings whether it be finances whether it be health whether it be prosperity whether it be safety god will do it for you let me make a prayer thank you heavenly father for this time for this day that you gave us a day of testimony lord once again that you have shown who you are you are a true living god who hears the prayers of the righteous i pray in all humility i give you glory for this testimony father this is not to glorify me this is not to glorify any money but this is to glorify you alone father because if it was not for you this would not have happened and i thank you that you did this in my life that you tested me with that money at this at that time that i may be able to give this testimony to people who are who are willing to help but because of 
because of some or the other thing they hold it back thinking if i give this what will remain with me but god you are testing as you tested abraham by asking for his son the only seed that you gave him from whom there would be nations as numerous as the sand on the seashore and as the stars of the heavens you you told abraham that this will be your seed through him there will be generations and generations father and you tested abraham and tested did not hold his son back but he lifted up the dagger to give up his son he 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 knew who you were he knew that even if he would have sacrificed his own son to the living god the living god had that much power that he would resurrect the dead and he would give him back because he had promised of a seed father similarly lord let our lives live a life of testing that father through testing there will be a testimony i thank you once again father for this testimony father i pray for a financial breakthrough for people who are looking father the people who are looking for help the people who are looking at you for help father that you would open the doors lord for them i pray right now in the name of jesus father who was watching this testimony who was there right now lord who is in need father i pray that you would bless them lord people who are going through difficult times lord that you would comfort them people who are looking for answers lord that you will release yeshua to them father who is the only answer who is the only way the truth and the life i thank you once again for this for this time that you gave us in jesus mighty name i make my prayers amen amen god bless you all and stay safe